Atlanta, a place filled with hustlers, underdogs, and above all, cars. Although the city is associated with epic attractions, skylines, and nightlife, some tend to focus on building, day by day, brick by brick. From hardships to incredible wealth, from Dodges to McLarens. This fire is <laughs> From a lone wolf to inspiring millions of young people. While what was that? To McLarens. From a lone wolf to inspiring young millions of young people. While being completely honest and ethical the whole way through. This is not that story. For me, I'm blessed. Like, I work for what I got. So it's like, it's different for me. Man. It's not easy. Life is hard. And you got to grind, bro. I'm trying oh, to tell God. You. How do I afford a truck up? Get off your and go work. Chapter one, beginnings. This is hard as <laughs> Jaquan Howard, a vlogger, internet sensation, multi-faced entrepreneur, and car addict with a goal to make it in life and inspire others to do the same. But how did he get here? Coming Damn. from a single mother household. Yo, what the f bro? What the f what? That's me as a baby. How did he get this one? What the who is this, bro? This this young Quan. So, Quan was born and raised in Atlanta with his two younger siblings. His father was not around much and even ended up in jail. And your dad was just ghost. You never really had a relationship with him at all. He was in and out of my life up until I got late elementary school. Okay. And that was just gone. I'm sure you can kind of start to see how Quan ended up figuring things out by this intensified ass music, nigga. This shit ain't hard <laughs> as fuck. So, and become exceptionally mature at a very young age. With a hatred for college and a vision for more, Quan always knew he was meant for something bigger. So much so that he quit his first job at Walmart after a half days of work, went and got a tattoo to remind himself that he could never work for somebody else and set himself up mentally for success. You know what they say, when you got no plan B, there's just one way through. Oh God, bro, in life you don't need, this is how I look at it. I never had, my mom said this shit in, in one of my vlogs about me. Like, I've been saying this shit since I was a kid, bro. I never had a plan B. It was always plan A. Plan A has no option to fail. Plan A has to work. So you you don't give yourself an option for, for it, like, if you fail. This shit gotta work. Whatever you wanna do, it has to work. It's always told me, you need you always need a plan B. Like, you always need something to fall back on. It's true in a sense, but I'm a risk taker, my I'm gonna take that risk. I'm 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 willing to put everything out on, on, on the floor. I'm willing to, you know what I'm saying? So it's like I never had a plan B. It was only plan A. And plan A was YouTube. And and plan A is paying off. No cap. That shit crazy. Eventually, Quan dove deep into YouTube. And that being said, the escape plan had just begun. Chapter two, the escape plan. This is hard. Yo, your kids are on their way. I bet. November 7th, 2016. That's when Quan posted his first YouTube video while oh still being in ninth grade <laughs> in high school. It was one of those pranks that were really hot back in the days. He got 1,000 views, then he stopped posting for months. Oh Eventually, he came back, streaming his Fortnite gameplays every day for oh days God. and days and days. But that didn't work either. What was left to do? Pranks were funny, but temporary, and gaming was getting boring. Quan came to the conclusion that he could mix his passion for fashion and sneakers into his content. Thanks. That's exactly what he did. He started posting hauls, and views got larger. Engagement got better and monetization finally hit. Quan's first YouTube check was around $2,700. Yeah. Fashion YouTube was paying off. But listen, clothes can only be worn in so many ways. Oh, bro. It, it was just clothes, clothes, like, nigga. I'm tired of, I'm tired of doing clothes, nigga. I'm trying to do what I came on this platform to do, nigga. Quan eventually ended up getting his driver's license at 17. 
had put down $4,000 on a graphite gray 2016 Dodge Challenger SXT. Nigga, I, all, I, all I remember was, I want a Challenger with black wheels. That's all I want. I ain't give a f it was a V8, a V4, a V3. I just want a Challenger. You know you told me all this info? I put this on Cozy, on Jesus, on my mother. I, I never talked to this ever. This is just crazy. All I knew was I wanted a Challenger with black wheels, and that's exactly what the I got. And when I got the bit, the same day I bought this, I ain't up to this day. I never drove on a highway before. Yeah, I was scared to drive that bit home. <laughs> oh God! Little did he know, Quan had just found gold. This was going to be his breakout, the unexpected algorithm breaker, and that it was. In just a short couple of years, Quan had bought three more cars and built an absurd cult-like internet community. Dang. Appreciating him for his cool demeanor and reliability. Quan doesn't try to act like the tough guy. He's just himself. His Bro. audience appreciated him for his determination, transparency, and according to him, honesty. Now at this point, he had bought a Scat Pack charger, a Challenger SRT Hellcat, Damn. and a 2014 Super... Would you ever buy your old cars back? I just witnessed bro Dread Journey. Dread Journey was crazy. But question, would I ever buy my old cars back? What's so crazy, y'all? I was about to buy my old Challenger back, but um, I had found out that it had been in an accident. It had been in an accident with an 18-wheeler. And it was, they had re, they had fixed it up and stuff, stuff like that. But it was just like, nah, I don't even want that. I don't even, I don't even want that. I'm a J. You know what I'm saying? So that's the reason why I didn't buy my old Challenger back. But I was going to buy that bit back. But I found out that that bit got in an accident with an 18-wheeler. Subaru BRZ. But the question still was and remained, how the heck was he buying all these cars at such a young age? It's true, Quan was growing exponentially and the checks started to get heavier and heavier. But does YouTube's ad revenue really pay that much? And why choose car content over any other topic out there? Bro, look at this shit, bro. Look at this shit, bro. This just goes to show that car content will never be gone, my nigga. I ain't posting this channel in two months before I just start back posting. Yeah, it was two months. I had posted a couple videos. It been hit a million, got a couple views and shit. Then I stopped posting for two months. I didn't post on this channel for two months. Two months, no videos at all on this channel. I came back, dropped a video, 200K. Damn near 200K, 150K, 200K, 300K, 90K. It's like that car shit just, it, it's endless, bro. It's endless, bro. That shit is crazy, like. Stop posting two months on his regular channel and just try to come back and do that. That shit ain't gonna work out. But that car channel shit is crazy, bro. Okay. Well, if you dig down the rabbit hole, it all just clicks so perfectly. Chapter four, self-made. Eyes on night vision. Fuck that. We're gonna have a crazy ass summer. This is so fun. Look, look, look. I'm gonna go follow more cozy on Instagram. We're gonna have the hardest video. Okay. I guess at this point, I should reveal some details that matter more than you might think. Firstly, Quan never hid the fact that his mother, Jen, always believed in him, helped yeah. him build his credit, and jumpstart his car YouTube success. Bro, how did he get that picture, m How? When he got his second car, a knuckle white charger scat pack, he actually his car YouTube. Bro, I don't even have this picture, bro. How? <laughs> what the fuck? Success. When he got his second car, a knuckle white charger scat pack, he actually co-signed it with her. Getting yeah. the car co-signed is when a fellow person adds their information, including income and their credit report, to the loan application and pledges to pay back the loan if you're unable to do so. And when your mother has good credit, well, she's going to teach you how to have no good credit. too. Shout out my dudes, many man. people accuse Quan of scamming or question car vloggers' sustainability of wealth, I'd like to remind everyone that Quan is no regular car vlogger. 
He has been making money since he was in high school. He's always been hustling, pretty much since he started YouTube. Young Quan in that bit, man. <laughs> Damn. Hey, Young Quan, man. And not to mention, he's already stated that there's cars he purchased strictly off clothing. Because yes, Cozy is his own clothing brand that sold out almost every time he dropped a new collection. I'm so ready to drop, bro. Oh my God. What the fuck? And made, according to him, six figures the first year of release. Jaquan always specified that he has other business. So now that I made six figures my first release, my first year release with Cozy, like my first year with Cozy, it's crazy to say that my first drop with Yale Yard did six figures. Like that's major, bro. That's major, gang. That shit crazy. I'm gonna post some motivation for y'all to show y'all damn near what we just made last drop too. Y'all gonna see. Well, I'm talking about with Yale Yard, bro. Yeah. Ventures other than YouTube that allows him to sustain and grow his lifestyle. Or but still going out, by the way. To keep some parts of his life private, and I can only respect that, as you should too. The scamming allegations come down as very hard to believe, since having four consequent channels on YouTube, making hundreds of thousands of views every day, as well as having thousands of people buy your clothes and a network of like-minded people around, and somehow not make hundreds of thousands and even millions of dollars a year, seems pretty far-fetched. Damn, bro. This, this is crazy. You see, on the surface, it's <laughs> easy to just enjoy Quan's content and recognize his talent as an entertainer. But when you play chess at his level, there's an intricate content strategy involved and a never-ending quest for new ideas. Quan went from posting 10 to 15 minute videos to producing one to two hour body of works on average. And somehow, this actually works. Oh, this yeah. has become a literal formula for Quan that he's just repeating time and time again. His oh, strategy yeah. is simple, yet hard to pull off. Buy a car, blast it on the internet, get paid, buy another one, rinse and repeat until you can afford a 2018 McLaren 720S, a 2019 Dodge Challenger Hellcat Red Eye, a 2021 wide body Trackhawk, and a 2020 Lamborghini Urus at only 21 years old. Another. Well, when I get older and I. Hey, he's speaking facts, bro. I ain't gonna lie. What's the deal, Javon Vice, bro? Appreciate that follow, brother. Appreciate that follow, gang. You just let me let me change this up. We trying to get to uh, we trying to get to a band, bro. We're trying to get to a thousand followers, bro. Appreciate you, brother. I ain't gonna lie, he's speaking facts, chat. I'm not gonna lie, he's speaking facts, I look bro. Look back at this shit, bro. That's I ain't gonna say too much, chat, but that's what I started doing on my YouTube, bro. I started posting like longer videos, bro. Like especially reacting to like streamers who be recording for a long period of time, bro. Like speed, like speed live streams or like like a whole Casanet live or or Quan, bro. Like, bro, it's all about. My fault for finally speaking chat in 13 minutes in the video, but he really was talking facts in this video, bro. Like, if y'all really pay attention to what, like, these streamers and, and content creators be saying, bro, bro, they be really, they be speaking real facts, bro. All you got to do is pay attention and listen. So, my fault for not talking for 13 minutes of this reaction, bro, and not reading chat, bro, because I'm really paying attention, and it's always a way, bro. Number one is finding what you want to do and keep doing it consistently bro and like they said at the beginning of the video it's okay to have a plan b but make sure your plan plan a work bro like go hard on your plan a like go super duper hard on your plan a like your plan a has to work bro it has to work bro, bro i'm gonna be like damn this is crazy he leaking the sauce this is this is valuable information bro yeah that's what i'm just that's exactly what i was just saying chat that's information that that everybody can take, bro. That's information that everybody can take, bro. It's a lot that play a part in it, bro. That's why I really want to drop this course or this ebook, bro. 
That's really one of why I really want to drop this course or this ebook, bro. To really help people understand and like figure out how this works. And I'm probably not gonna do the course or the ebook for too much either, bro. I'm probably not gonna do the course or the ebook for too much either, bro. Probably five bucks, bro. Just to give people information on how to do things and how to, you know what I'm saying? And how to market and promote, bro. Longer, long videos is the way to go. Now Literally. I can say it's way harder to keep his attention span for longer. Save money not and make real. money on Depop. Save on That's the latest fact, styles. Sell them with no selling fees. You could drop a 10 minute video. Like how I was, I was dropping 10 to 20 to 30 minute videos, which is like, sh they, they consider it shorter content. Like that's like, that's a short video. Like you watch a, a 20, a 10 to 20 minute video. I feel like that shit end quick. Facts. Whereas you watching an hour vlog, you actually sitting there enjoying that shit. Like, damn, some people even watch some of it, turn it off and finish watching it later. You get what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. That's facts. So it's like making longer form content produces way more revenue. And once you get like, once you get people to actually like you for you and want to watch your content and want to see your lifestyle, it's like, like people always say, even if I drop like a 30 minute vlog now, like if I was dropping a 30 minute vlog tomorrow, 20 minute vlog tomorrow, they'd be like, Quan, what the f where the hour video at? Like we want longer videos. We don't want this short ass video. It's like longer videos produce way more revenue. Not gonna lie. People tell me my shit too long. You got to build up that support base. Cause since I, I can tell you right now, everybody don't watch my whole video. I know that for a fact. It's things that skim through the video and watch the parts they want to watch. That's cool. But you have those people that do watch the whole video and it's like, damn nigga, that shit crazy. There's a Twitch streamer where he averages 10 to 15 K named Lacey. He leaked his dashboard and he makes 58 K a week alone. That wasn't a week. That was a month. When he showed y'all that, that was a month. Uh, yeah, it's, it was a month, <laughs> but I was trying to tell y'all, longer form content is the way to go on YouTube. And I feel like YouTube is way harder. Well, I feel like YouTube is hard as to master, but once you master it, no, nah, it wasn't, it was from July 8th, it was from July 8th to July 15th. Yeah, it was a month, not a week. But I feel like once you master YouTube, it's like, once you like master that shit, it's like you in there. But what like learning YouTube is tricky, bro. It's very tricky. You gotta find your niche. You gotta find what you want to post. Facts. You gotta find consistency. Mind you, y'all, people don't know this. Hold on, we're gonna we're gonna take a quick little yeah session. My being a YouTuber, people may be like, oh, that's easy, easy, easiest job in the world. No, it's not. Let me tell you why. Just for the simple fact that, yes, it's physically easier than clocking into a job, working for someone. No, nah, facts. Let me let me make y'all gotta make sure y'all pay attention to this. Nah, let me on. tell you why. Oh, that's easy, easy. Y'all gotta, gotta really y'all gotta really listen to this. Really, 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 really oh, listen to this, y'all. Quick little yeah session. My being a YouTuber, people may be like, oh, that's easy, easy, easiest job in the world. No, it's not. Let me tell you why. Just for the simple fact that yes, it's physically easier than clocking into a job, working for someone, and doing a task yes i can't say that it is Facts. easier than doing that Facts. but not a hundred percent just for the simple fact that let's just say you're a content creator it's your main source of income this all you depend on like youtube is all you depend on you're, you make content your job that you work in the nine to five that you work in you going you have a set check every time you get paid depending Facts. on your hours how many hours you work is the set a set check with youtube it's like you have to produce content consistently to continue producing revenue. Facts. If you don't, you don't have a guaranteed set pay every month on with making content. Facts. I could post chat. 10, 30 videos this month. Chat. And that's every platform, chat. That's every platform. If you don't reach the payout, bro, it's not a hundred percent chance that you get a pay a payment that month or or it, even if you make like 30 your first month on twitch you would have to wait until the next month to make the extra 50 if your payout is 50 dollars or 100 dollars, depending on like what your payout is you see what i'm saying so it's not 100 percent like you gonna get income off of content creating like youtube tiktok 
uh instagram whatever whatever you do whatever content that you post snapchat whatever bro make six figures next month i post two videos i'm damn near only making 20k it's like right you gotta you gotta put you gotta put way more work in if that makes sense and also it's not hard it's not easy to come up with ideas people may be like like people tell me this shit all the time but i want to be a youtuber but i don't know what to post that's a real ass thing not for imagine real. being a youtuber i'm not i'm not complaining or nothing because i know people like to misconstrue words imagine being a youtuber it's your main source of income and you have to entertain people consistently the whole year the year after that and the year after the rest of your life to that to maintain your lifestyle to maintain your revenue coming in Facts. My, you gotta constantly think of ideas constantly produce the content constantly entertain people constantly make people happy so then don't forget don't forget this also bro sometimes it get crazy when you when you like obviously if you first starting off with, with youtube and stuff bro also you gotta edit your own content bro a lot of people like watching videos that like a lot of people don't like watching bad edit videos bro i'm one of the people bro if i click somebody video bro and it's bad edited bro like i don't even like watching movies that look like it's too old bro so like some people don't like watching terrible edit videos bro real talk and i, I ain't gonna lie i'm one of the people bro so if you don't know how to edit it makes it harder bro and then editing is not easy either on its own and some people don't like watching bad quality videos bro so if you ain't got no 4k camera or no no op the newest iphone to record or the newest the newest camera uh, you know what i'm saying like it's easy but it's not at the same time like people don't look at it people only look at it as oh all this thing i do is go record something and edit it and post it on youtube he's good no it's way more than that you gotta you gotta think about the content. i ain't gonna lie bro vlogging editing vlogging content bro might be one of the hardest type of edits bro or it might be gaming videos gaming videos is pretty hard too bro but for me editing on my own after editing for years of content bro like i used to edit 2k videos bro so i'm very familiar with editing bro editing a good 2k video for me takes literally about 30 minutes to an hour all focused on just the edit sometimes it could be longer than that depends on like procrastinating or or doing other things if you stop editing go make you some food come back watch it all right let me watch a little little something on my phone anything that throws you off bro editing takes literally literally while you're procrastinating and while you're not actually sitting there and just editing all alone without being bothered bro editing literally takes an hour to two hours bro with the procrastinating with the watching tiktoks on your phone and with the e and then doing other things when well, you're focused 30 minutes to an hour then the longer the video as you see he just said the longer the video it takes like the longer the video the more people sit and actually watch so the longer the video the harder it is to edit it because then you got to go through extra the whole thing to edit out whatever you want to edit or or make whatever look fancy that you want to make look fancy bro like it's not as easy as everybody make it seem bro Content. you got to keep entertained for such a long time it's just i don't know if you have a personality, then it can't be that hard. I can say that is true in a sense, but kind of, sort of not for the simple fact that I have a personality. I'm a YouTuber, but some days I sit and I'm like, damn, what the f am I going to post? I don't know what to post. I That's facts too, bro. Personality don't carry, bro. Personality don't carry. P personality don't carry, bro. Cause you got to think about it like this, bro. It's like, it's like people in the world, bro, who, who like to see certain things, bro. And it's always somebody that's basically doing the same type of content you doing. So yeah, you got personality, but you got hella people with personalities, bro. So really you just got to outwork people at that point it ain't about your personality carrying you on YouTube or, or Twitch or anything else, bro. It's about, it's about, you know what I'm saying? It's a race at that point. Like me, I'm a gamer. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like to get on here and play video games, but there's a thousand people playing video games that's just as good as me. I got to compete against all of them and not even just the game, just editing, 
uploading content. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, like some people don't like watching bad quality videos. You know what I'm saying? I got to wake up in the morning and post before they do. It ain't about if I got a better personality than them or if, if I'm better at a game than them or, or none of that. It's about the drive, bro. It's actual work editing. You know what I'm saying? Marketing videos, promoting your videos. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, uh, uh, collabing with certain people helps too. Like, bro, it's a lot of things that go with it, bro. It's a lot of things that go with it, bro. It's not just, uh, being good at it or, or having a person that bro. sometimes, bro, it's the actual work, the work that help you get through it, bro. The work that help you get through it, bro. No, like I just get creators block. I'm like, damn, I, I don't know what to do. Like what the f I gonna post? Uh, I can like, I don't, I don't know, bro. It's a, it's, it's a thought. Confusing. It's a it's thought weird. for sure. It's a thought for sure. Do you believe in people falling off? Falling off is an internet made thing. If I start posting on the internet today, never post on the internet again, never post on the internet again, but I'm good outside of the internet, financially, stably, mentally, I'm, I'm good everywhere, but I'm not on the internet, they will say, oh, he fell off. Just for the simple fact that I'm not on the internet. People is stuck in the internet. Like, my nigga, you gotta realize, not outside real. of the internet, we have a real life. If I was to up and start posting our, another creator, our, yeah, another creator was up and stopped posting on YouTube today or whatever they do. They just stop and just go enjoy life. People going to be like, oh, they fell off. No, they stopped and they went to go enjoy with the They went to go enjoy their life. Switch to Chrome to protect Matter yourself from malware so you can surf without getting fished. People got to realize like, bro, uh, the internet ain't going to last forever, bro. That's why you got to find next like another thing to do you ever thought of doing vlog tour i don't know if that's a thing what you mean by that what do you mean by that what do you see yourself in five years in five years um i feel like i'm gonna just be posting youtube videos for fun it ain't it ain't gonna be no oh this is my main source of income no i'm gonna be doing this shit for fun i'm gonna have a cameraman an editor all that at that point i'm just gonna be vlogging for fun like it ain't gonna be a job. Kicking feet up, kicking shit, having fun, enjoying, traveling, all that. You know what I'm saying? Like SRT Bree, exactly. SRT Bree is good, my But she chose to get off the internet and go enjoy her life in real life. And the motherfuckers talking about she fell off. Nigga, she didn't fall off. She is enjoying her life. What a lot of people should be doing instead of stuck on the internet. Don't Kaya do weekly vlogs? Yeah, she do weekly vlogs. Uh, but yeah that fall off shit is internet based gang it's not like be wealthy as living great but not posting on the internet and they say oh he fell off oh he's this oh he's that I don't know I don't know but let's get back to this thing like Solomonati yes bro prime example a high success factor is Quan's undeniable understanding of people's horniness. His dating life. <laughs> what? Undeniable understanding of people's horniness. <laughs> His dating life has been public since the beginning. And mixing cars and girls is and always will be a proven winning formula. And horniness. Oh shit, my bad. This shit fine. I ain't gonna lie. Damn, I didn't make it. cannot be forgotten is Quan's overall positive impact on young people aspiring for the same levels of success. I just wanted to say that what Quan has done and achieved truly is wonderful. The success he's reached at such a young age speaks for itself. He's been able to inspire many young folks who strive to achieve something better in life and start their own YouTube journey. That being said, the point of this video was not to somehow send hate to Quan or make some kind of hit piece on him, but rather highlight the fact that there's a lot we can learn from his story. And I'd like to ask you, would you rather be the guy who hates or the one who's being hated on? Everybody book already written. What's gonna happen is already happened in the book. You ain't late, bro. Just wait your turn. If your time ain't here, it's gonna come. Keep 
what's the best car I own to this day? My favorite car I own to this day was probably my McLaren as far as, like, it was just a trophy for me. Like, bro, that was literally my dream car. Like, I dreamed of having that car. And people, this this what this what people get misconstrued, bro. People always be saying, oh, it's, it's um, how the f*** do you have so many dream cars? How do you have all these dream cars? It's multiple dreams, my Literally, everybody got a, a realistic dream. They got a dream that's kind of unrealistic, my And then they got a really unrealistic dream. It's different levels, to my A realistic dream is, for instance, I would say this. The realistic dream that that my original realistic dream was having a Hellcat, living in a high rise. That was my realistic dream. Like I know I'm going to get this. Like I know this shit possible. Like, I know. This is the same reason that if y'all don't know, people that make supercar content on YouTube, it don't get views because people don't give it. You got to be in that. If you in that, you there. For instance, Stratman, DDE, they're they're set, but. Newcomers trying to make supercar content, people don't give a about that. People don't give a about you modding your Lamborghini. You know why? Because in their mind, they can't obtain that. In their mind, in their lifetime, I'm never going to get a Lamborghini. Why are you watching this content? They want to see Hellcat, Hellcat, Hellcat. So, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep feeding you what you want to see. Now, did I get a supercar? Yes, because I, I really, really, I really, really wanted one. But they don't, people don't want to, people don't watch what they don't believe they can obtain, which is crazy. But, that's the first dream. You got your realistic dream. You got your kind of unrealistic dream. My kind of unrealistic dream was, I would say, my track hop. And then the penthouse. Because moving out, an apartment, that was realistic. But a penthouse at 19 and a track hop? I don't feel like that was realistic for real. But it, it kind of was. It was kind of my... That's the kind of unrealistic dream. But I would say the penthouse, the track hop... And owning a McLaren before 21. That was my unrealistic dream. Because if you would have told me when I was 16, 17, oh, you're going to have a penthouse, a trackhawk, and a McLaren before you turn 21. You can have a trackhawk at 19, a penthouse at 19, and a McLaren before you turn 21. I would have looked at you like, nigga, ain't no way. Nigga, that's the f. I, it, it could be possible, but me? Like, what? Hell nah. That's the kind of unrealistic dream. Then you go to the really unrealistic dream point in your life where it's like, damn, McLaren, 720S, Rolls Royce Cullinan, big ass house, Urus. That's kind of unrealistic at 21, my nigga. But it's like everybody, it's it's different dreams. So when people be like, you got a, a different, you got a new dream car every week. There's levels to that shit, bro. No cap. If I was doing YouTube for five plus years with no buzz, should I stop? No, because what if that six years, your year, and your breakout year, and you just million subscribers in a year, nigga. You never know. But it's like, and that's why, chat. That's why we still going, bro. You never know, bro. You saw a little your feedback on my my recent YouTube video I just dropped. But I got you, gang. You would have to um probably type it in the chat so I can go see it, Brody. It's like. I don't know, bro. It's weird. It's weird. But if you've been doing YouTube for five years and you have seen no growth at all, it's not It's not YouTube. It's you. It's dead you, bro. Change up what you're doing. Make your, make your quality better. Change up the type of videos you better. Find a new niche. It's dead ass you. Would you come to Austin, Texas? If I got somebody there to do business-wise, yeah. If not, I don't really see myself out there for real. 